what is going on everyone my name is gtlp0515 and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can get any crew emblem on any type of clothing item in gta 5 online so the method i'm showing you today only works on current gen but i will provide a link in the description to a tutorial on how to do this glitch on next gen so yeah this the method i'm showing you in this video only works on current gen but I will provide a link in the description for a method to do it on next gen. And yeah, with that being said, let's get on with the video. So first off, you're just going to want to go ahead and start off on your male character, and then you're going to want to go ahead and go over to the clothing store. Once you're at the clothing store, you want to go ahead and buy a leather jacket, the one that I purchase. And then you're going to want to go ahead and buy the large crew emblem on the back of the jacket. From here, all you want to go ahead and do is back out of this menu, then press start, online, swap character. Once you're in swap character, all you want to go ahead and do is delete a second character if you have one. And then you want to go and create a new one, and then once you're online as the new second character, you just have to get it to level 6. So you can do jobs, missions, races, death matches, just do whatever you gotta do to get it to level 6. Once you have it at level 6, you want to press start, online, swap character, and you will be at my position right there. Then you want to click on that second character that you have gotten to level 6 or higher. You will then be prompted to a message asking you if you'd like to alter your character's appearance. Now from here, you just want to wait on this message and somehow get offline. So in my case, I'm just going to sign out. You can maybe turn off your ethernet or turn off your internet or eject your ethernet cable. Anyway, once, once you're offline, all you want to go ahead and do is just sign back online once you're back in single player. And then press start, online, and then click on swap character. From here, you want to go ahead and choose your first character, and it should ask you if you would like to alter your character's appearance, and you want to click on yes. Once you're here, all you want to go ahead and do is go to the lifestyle options, and you want to go ahead and change them around until you see your character wearing the type of clothing that you would like to put the emblem on. So in my case, I want to put the crew emblem on this suit jacket here, which is not normally obtainable. So you just have to move them around until you get the clothing item that you would like to put the crew emblem on. So, you know, say you want to do this to get a biker vest. All you got to do is just change these options around until you go ahead and get a vest. Or if you want to do it on a suit jacket, just change them around until you get a suit jacket. But yeah, just change them around. You will eventually get the type of clothing that you want to put your emblem on and once you get it just make sure your character is wearing it press save and continue you will then be loaded into an online session wearing the type of clothing with your emblem on it now once you're not online with this emblem I recommend you go ahead and save it in the outfit saver And yeah, just save it so you'll never lose it. And boom. Yeah, as you can see here, I got my emblem on the back of the jacket. Boom. There you guys go. And now I'm just going to show you real quick that it's not obtainable by doing it um, just normally by going to the clothes store and buying it. Yeah, there you go. Just saving it real quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you that, you know, the crew emblem is always going to be there. And as you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and show you that you can't normally get the crew emblem on it. And yeah, no crew emblem, you can't do it. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.